Hey y'all, what's going on? Happy Saturday, hope all is well. Got a very, very special treat for y'all today. On this amazing Saturday, you're gonna get a little bit of comedy. You're gonna get a little bit of lightheartedness. It's gonna be a really dope interview with one of the dopest comedians that I will say in the country. Y'all just ain't hip to him yet. But as soon as my brother Dave gets on, y'all going to get hit. Real funny guy. But we're going to be able to kind of dive into his story of how he got started. Um, some of the amazing projects that he got working on right now. It's going to be a really dope conversation. So happy Saturday. Hopefully y'all making some type of progress today. Y'all not just sitting around doing nothing. I know the decision makers is part of the tribe. They're not just sitting around doing that. Right, Dave, brother in here. Yo, What's bro. What's happening? Hey, man, I'm excited to have you be on the show, bro. I appreciate you for having me, man. Sorry, I'm late, man. No, I was no, on no, my own show last night and got <laughs> body lady. <laughs> no, I ain't even mad at you, bro. It's all good. All right, so tell the, for the people that don't know who you are, tell them who you are and what you do. Um, I'm a comedian. My name's Dave Jizzle. Uh, been in a couple films. Uh, got a show coming out, Late Nights with Dave Jizzle. Uh, uh, the world premiere will be April 1st. Uh, you're the first to know, by the way, that. That's what's up. <laughs> we was filming all night last night. Uh, yeah, and I got a couple films coming out as well. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. I, where you from, bro? Uh, Detroit. Detroit, Michigan. Okay. All right, I'm here in Cleveland, so we right around the corner. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got family in Cleveland. My dad lives in Cleveland. Oh, that's what's up. And I got family in Detroit. I think that everybody from Detroit say they got family in Cleveland. Everybody from Cleveland say they got family in Detroit. Because I didn't know so many cats are like, yeah, I got family in the D. And I'm like, bro, do you really, though? You just saying that. <laughs> but like you said, y'all around the corner, man. It's like literally <laughs> like three hours. <laughs> throw there, bro. <laughs> Me, I think that'd be capping, bro. I think they'd be capping about that, man. You think so? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, how, how did you even get into comedy, man? Like, as you know, the progression of your page, mm -hmm. I've been watching you for probably about like two years now, almost. Okay. Um, but you know, saying to see you rock out, that's why I had to hit follow because I'm like, man, dude, funny, but he he he, that kind of funny that's like. You ain't trying to be extra with it, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's like yeah. Real I like to make people think. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, it's funny, man. I did like a lot of us, man. Thought I was a rapper back in the day, man. You know, trying to rap, <laughs> and everybody kept saying, "Dog, do comedy, do comedy, mm. do comedy." And I'm hard head. You can't tell me what to yeah, do, man. Yeah. But then one of my homeboys, uh, like a couple years ago, not too long ago, he was like, "Yo." Dave, you really should do comedy. I'm about to do comedy one night. He was like, why don't you come and do uh, a, a stand-up set? And I'm like, stand-up set? All right, I guess so. Man, I, I went in there, and I literally, some told me to take it. I actually taped it. I killed it, man. Wow. I killed it. <laughs> and not only I killed it, I put that boy on YouTube, and the reaction was crazy. People was trying wow. to I should have been doing stand-up, man. Man, I don't know if you was you was froze for a minute. Was that? Oh, can you hear me? Oh, where'd I leave off at? You, you was like that you was killing it. And then yeah, was I was like, killing it. The crowd reaction was crazy. Like, the other comedians was kind of like, man, are you sure this is the first time doing stand-up? Like, mm -hmm. you know, I did it in front of my family a couple times with jokes. But, like, yeah. first time from a real crowd, I was blown away. Put it online, exploded. You know, everybody was like, yo, dang, you got to keep, keep, keep looking at me and stuff, you know? That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. So well, where's your favorite city you done been to doing comedy? Uh, I actually haven't really gone, like, out, out yet. Okay. But, okay. Uh, I said the funniest city that I went to, though, is, like, uh, Battle Creek. It's a small okay. city outside of Detroit. Uh -huh. Man, like, it's a real blue collar. When I say blue collar, I mean they work for the cereal factory. Mm -hmm. Those dudes get out of work. Like I think I was. This one COVID was like hectic though. Yeah. But they paid me, so I actually, okay. I can't turn the yeah, money yeah. down. <laughs> hey, they paid me like right after like when the between the night shift and the day shift, like eight o'clock. Uh huh. And people getting out of work, man. 
I was white noise, man. That people was out here trying to get their drink <laughs> or they drinks on me and stuff. Wow. It was a learning experience. Wow. Yeah, you, know, you prefer to get booed than ignored, but I was like, <laughs> she was like, like y'all ain't even nah. paying attention to me though, bro. Yeah, <laughs> people was like, nah, bro, this is the game, dog. You killed it. They, I got them to warm up, but I was like, yeah. I said, like, ain't nobody gonna marry me, man. Like, That's the game, baby. You got it. You got your check. Got it. Got it. <laughs> right. But you know, that's crazy though, because like, even in relationships, man, like yeah. one of the things a dude that hate the most is somebody just ignore him. Like, man. it's one thing to shoot me down, but like, I ain't interested. But to just be like, you ain't even paying attention to me. Like, I'm irrelevant. Man, that hurt more than anything else. Bro. Get left on red. It's like getting left on red by audience. By an audience. I was like, Mike on? That's the worst, bro. Man, but that's how I be though sometimes, man. But you know, like your your role or your journey, everything you building, man, like mm -hmm. little things like that can stop somebody. Yeah. Like what what's been that thing that just keep pushing you? Man, it's just I, I see a lot of my friends, man. Uh it's no knock to them, like, they, they, they start out great, you know, come out of school, ready to go, get a good job, and things fall apart, yeah. you know, or it, it, you just realize it's not for you. Yeah. It's, 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 oh, I thought it was, I thought it was frozen for a second. And I just realized, <laughs> even when things go great, it's like, you realize, you be at work, like, this ain't for me, man. This yeah. ain't, this ain't the end. I, yeah. I just, I just want more. God just keeps giving me these thoughts. When yeah. you dream... I heard Steve Harvey say, it's like a preview. Mm. It's like a trailer for the future. And it's just like, yes. no, nah, I just want more. And I ain't talking about financial. I'm talking about just like uh, success. Like, I, I love empowering people, you know, motivating yeah. people, yeah. speaking to people. It's just, it's, yeah. you just want more, you know. Absolutely. People. No, absolutely. That, that totally makes sense. Um, so everything that you're building right now, mm -hmm. what, what do you think is like, that that big big goal to make you feel like man I, I didn't did my my damage to the world I didn't did my thing like what would be that one thing for you to achieve man stand up that's my number one thing man if oh, I could just let me kill Madison Square man <laughs> let me get that tour I want because I want when somebody they already paid to see me and a couple other cheap kids but I want people to and I may be selfish a little bit but I want people to pay to see Dave Jizzle on a ticket, man. Yeah. And, you know, Madison Square or whatever big arena is, the big thing, Staples Center or whatever, crypto, whatever yeah. it is now. But, like, just go to see me and then go out of the country, just a big thing, and I can yeah. put other people on, you know, yeah. uh, opening up for me. That's my dream. That's Maybe a up. big movie, too, by myself, Star Wars. That's what's up. So, so who, who's out there that, like, that you would, like, look up to, admire, that's in the game? Man, man, I always looked up to Richard Pryor because okay. I've been I've been watching a lot of his stuff. I know he's dead and gone, but the person alive, man, you gotta give it up to Eddie, man. Eddie and okay. Kevin Hart too. Kevin Hart, okay. I got the, I got that hustle too, man. It's like a lot of people ask me, "What are you doing? What are you about to do?" It's like so much, bro. <laughs> you know, like Kevin Hart is the number one hustler in the game right now. So maybe I gotta say Kevin Hart, yeah. Eddie and Kevin. Man, yeah, yeah, they definitely paved the way. And both of them have, like, they own unique styles, but you can kind of see it on their face that they like, man, I don't care. Like, I'm, I'm going after it. I don't care about be, the man. opinions of what you about to look at me funny or I don't care. That's how it be, man. You got to have your team ready. I like, it goes so much into being a great man because, like, a lot of people just see me go on stage and tell jokes. They don't think if it's, uh, it, like, I have, like, a lot of stand-ups on, cam on camera or on YouTube and stuff. I got to get a cameraman. Mm -hmm. I gotta do advertising, man. I gotta if I'm not, I gotta see who where I'm booked or and all that stuff. Go on tour or whatever. I'm like I go to like a lot of different spots. I gotta see and I'm I'm, I'm booked for a couple of spots coming up. Philly and hopefully I get up in Cleveland sometime in Minnesota. So I'm trying to get out there this summer, man. <laughs> man, you got any shows like in Idaho or Minnesota? <laughs> <laughs> you got some number. You know, I try to tell my people in Idaho that you coming, man. <laughs> hey, Idaho got to tell me. <laughs> I, just, I'm, I'm gonna lie. I, I do be following the checks. <laughs> you got Idaho got to tell me. But really, <laughs> Cleveland, I'm, I like Chicago. Man, I've been getting like a lot of love, man. A lot of followers. Like, come out, man. Come out. I'm like, you, 
Get your local promoter. When you like a guy, hit they lo hit your local promoters about it, man. Yeah, for sure. That that's real. Now, like, what why do you think that building your brand is important on social media? Man, it's everything, man. Like your and a lot of people want to fight this, but your Instagram right now, to me, is your business card. Mm. That time. We got it. Now think about it like uh we have it now with the new barcode thing where I can go to your phone or the bracelet yeah. and your Instagram will pop up. Think about that. So it's like business cards. Yeah. I remember I was getting a whole bunch of business cards printed up. People were like, when somebody was like, yo, you might as well just, you might as well forget that, get a couple of them, but like. Man, you, you might as well burn them boys up from the top of your roof because ain't nobody doing nothing with them business cards, man. Hey, it's for like, real. For real. Like, I, I have me. clients like, can you make me some business cards? It's like, no, because they just going to throw them away. That's so negative. Like, that ain't even me being pessimistic, bro. Like, <laughs> they're going to throw them boys away, man. Like, they they want to throw it away as soon as you give it to them, but they're going to yeah. wait till they get home, put it on their desk for like a couple of days, yep. and then keep looking like, man, I'm about to throw you away. And it's like, especially people getting expensive business cards, I say, if anything, get about 10 or 20 <laughs> and give it to the old people because everybody <laughs> over under, under 50, they ain't looking at it, man. They ain't looking at it. It's, it's no longer a flex to us. To be, remember they used to be the flex. You know, oh man, I got a business card, you know. <laughs> that ain't a flex. And pull that boy out, yeah, that boy be shining. <laughs> <laughs> yep, they had a little the gloss joint too. Yeah. The, now it's, I say, I, like I, I have a friend that's a rapper. I told him, I said, man, get you a nice little photo shoot, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Take advantage of these reels. Yeah. Uh, Tick, build your TikTok too, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. uh, your YouTube, everything. Make sure it's all synced up. Your Twitter, yes. everything. You know, yeah. and even your the variations of your name too. I'm learning. Uh, grab those too. You might not yes. use them, but grab them because it's a lot of fake accounts, man. Oh, they gonna man. It's so many fake Dave Jizzles, man. <laughs> Whoo! Wait, you you got some fake fan pages out there bro. already, bro? Let me tell you, man. Let me tell you. I'd I be, I be scared because a lot, lot of times you gotta be careful because these are like crazy people, and yeah, sometimes yeah. the human trafficking stuff going yeah. on and stuff. And, and and I'll be one no parts of that. A lot of times I hear, a lot of times these people ask people for money and stuff. So I'm like, man, <laughs> at least cut me in a check. You ask the people for money, bro. <laughs> you know, that's crazy. But you know, I um. I just seen so many like cats that I love, right? Like I'm following they big time doing their thing. Mm -hmm. And then I get this notification come through, bro, like such and such following I'm like, babe, babe, look, such and such following me. Uh -huh. And then I pull that boy up and it be having like 2,000 followers or 5,000. I was like, that ain't him. And then I, I check it and it got like an extra underscore or like oh, an yeah, extra yeah. period. And I'm like, okay, there we go. You know what Man, I'm saying? I'm but, Who's my like as an accountant, right? And uh, I was gonna do a skit with him for his accounting firm, right? Mm. So I'm just he hits me up and I'm just talking to him. I'm like, yo, we gonna do a skit. Now, also, people, be careful what you say in the DM. So this is mm. an example. I'm breaking it down. This is what we're gonna do in the skit, so and so, so and so. And I'm realizing it's something wrong with this name. And I look at it. I look at him, I said, bro, I said, I, I, go to, I go to this other, I go to another page, I know it's him. I said, bro, you got two pages? He go, no. Nah. Like, <laughs> he's like, yo, I fired an intern. And he said, that's like an anti-page, man. Oh, I, was like, wow. I was like, bro, I just gave him the whole skit I did for your commercial for your firm, bro. My man. <laughs> I could possibly have ruined the check that way, but we, we wow. didn't feel it. But I was like, see, you got to be careful. You can't that's give all your crazy. cards. You got to double check. You got to double check. You still got crazy. a whole skit idea from me. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, how do you come up with your materials? And don't tell us like, the whole game, but like, kind of like, what's the process? Are you one of them just like, kind of sit there and kind of meditate and vibe on it first, and then you write it down, or somebody that just come, and then you start writing it down? Man, one thing you always got to keep is like a note journal or something, man, yeah. because uh, I think Prince said it best. He said he used to keep a journal by his bed. And he don't care what time of night it would be. He was like, he'll write it down because God's going to give him. He said he's scared. his fear was God giving him and Michael Jackson the same idea. <laughs> if he don't use it, Michael Jackson will. <laughs> and I feel like a lot of my jokes, I got to write them down. If I'm in wow. the shower, I will jump out of the shower. 
write it down because he wow. gives the heart these jokes too, man. Wow. I know you like to say it's not a competition, but yeah, yeah. man, I, I'm trying to be the goal. That's my goal. No. You know what I'm I saying? I'm not against yeah. anybody particularly, mm -hmm. but I'm in competition with myself and the game in entirety. I want to be the, the best to ever do it when it's all said and done. So like That's I just true. I write down my material. Um reels is real pop. I find out about not the what's what's the challenge or what's the most popping thing, but what's the most popular platform. Yeah. And the thing that I hate to admit it, and it's weak, but it messes us all up. You got to find out how the algorithm works. Mm -hmm. You know, you, it, it, <laughs> you, won't, you won't like it, but you're like, all right, man, if I do this, this is kind of moving in the algorithm. I'm going to mm -hmm. do this, but I'm going to pull it back and do something yeah. of my own. You know? Yeah, facts. So. Facts. And I see what you're saying, because at the end of the day, you're a comedian. So it's not like you don't start talking about something that ain't got nothing to do with what you do. Right. But if there's a popular song, popular kind of concept, yep. do that, but then incorporate what you do. Yeah. And the funny thing is, like, the like the, the funny thing is, as a comedian, you would think my skits are the biggest thing. I don't know why, but whenever I make a meme or say something crazy and mm -hmm. I post it, those go wilder than <laughs> anything on my page. I started to get, like, a me and Justin LaVoy is like... <laughs> <laughs> like, what is that? Just look yeah. killing me, but I'm coming for him on that. On that. No, nah, I feel it. But I think that it's like that real life element that you bring into it, and mm -hmm. we don't like. Like what I like about your skits, bro, is that mm -hmm. in the beginning, I have no idea if you like finally being serious on your page or not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you could be like a for real serious thing, but then it's like. It's, a, it's just a joke at the end. Right. So it's like, but you caught me slipping, but I didn't know where you was going to catch me, though. Right. Because of the whole skit, I was like, oh, shoot. And then you're like, bam. I'm like, man, <laughs> he got me again. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? I think that that real life element is going to continue to sell it because right. that's what people want. When they feel like it's too manufactured, it's too, it's too much acting, then it's like, all right, man. I'm yeah. Out. You, you, you're trying to get checked. You're trying to get on. But it's like, you can just be yourself. Like this one book I'm reading, it's called U Squared. Mm. And my, my, myself, I'm not going to call myself Dumb Day, but my silly self, right? Uh -huh. I thought that it was, I, I tried to find it on YouTube, so I put U2. And, <laughs> and it still came up. But it was saying it like U Squared. Uh -huh. Hey, I, I, I would do the same thing. Don't feel bad. <laughs> Don't feel bad. <laughs> I thought, like, what's, what's wrong with that? <laughs> For real. What's, but you know, you just gotta know your niche, though. Know your yeah. group and speak yeah. to your group. Cause I know I'm I'm a millennial. I know a lot, a lot of us millennials. We got our 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 way of thinking, you know. And it might not hit the younger crowd. It may not hit the older crowd. But it's gonna grow my group, and they're gonna keep coming back, you know. And I gotta be true to self and keep your inspiration. Because it's I like that tribe that you build, and it's the people yeah. that rock with you that like you. They they yeah. might not like everybody, and then sometimes it moves in waves. Yeah. Well, some people was rocking with Manny Hall for three to six months, and then the next shit that's like, new me, man. I ain't, I ain't messing with Manny no more. I don't like that dude no more. And it's yeah. like, okay, it is what it is. You move on to somebody else, but there's always this brand new group of people. Yeah. And if you can find something that's going to uh, offer them something great that they can pay for, then you mm -hmm. always got a check coming in. Yep. I always say one fan a day, man. Just make one fan a day because that mm -hmm. fan, you'll see one fan a day, but those fans turn into two, that person turn into three, turn into four, and then one day it's just like, damn, you know? Facts. Facts. Man, imagine if Eddie Murphy was in his prime on Instagram. Can oh, you imagine man. the heat that we'll be getting, man? Oh, man. Oh, man. But cancel culture be, will be after him, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They was they were still offended by coming to America too. I was like, bro, look, man. Are you serious? Some people were, man. It wasn't none in particular, but you yeah, know that okay. everybody, it's just that I want to be offended group, man. With and and it's like everybody want to have an opinion, and I feel like mm -hmm. I said this on a live a, a couple of months ago. I was like, man, at, at, at any opportunity, if they want to cancel me, go ahead and cancel me, because I know you're right. not gonna stop my check. Cause there's always gonna be some people that like me, yep. regardless if all of y'all say I hate Manny Hall. It's gonna be a group of people that's gonna be like, he's still dope though. Even if you buy my product, oh yeah, from the you know. What oh I'm yeah, saying? like, because well, you're speaking to your group, you gotta realize, like, I, like you, you remember I used to do this. I used to send everybody my skits, everybody my skits. Some people block me. The person who blocks me, 
ain't a fan no way. You know what I'm saying? The and people who like my stuff gonna be like, oh, thanks, bro. I was waiting on this joint, though, because, like, my, one of my favorite comedians now is Country Wayne. I can't wait until Country Wayne drop at 10 a.m. every day. Oh, man, I got my notification on. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha, so, gotcha. gotcha. That's how you got to be, man. You got the people who going to cancel you, don't like you. They don't like you no way. And actually, no. they're probably a fan low-key. Low-key. <laughs> low-key. Because you know, you know what it be like, bro? This, this mm -hmm. is going to sound a little crazy, but, like, remember back in high school, all the homies don't like this one girl, but she like, Hey man, she like wait all right, and they're like, man, you tripping, man. But you still like, man, I'm about to holler at it. I can't let none of the homies know, but I'm about to holler. That's how it used to be, though. <laughs> that's how it used to be, man. You know, oh, that's that's your girlfriend. No, nah, man, that, I don't even know her, bro. I ain't know. <laughs> I was gonna head just buy her lunch, but you know, cause cause I'm a good person. <laughs> But cats just got to be real, like, you know, during this whole cancel culture thing, mm -hmm. it's like, yes, some people are going to be offended. Right. But it is what it is. Like, yeah. it The is bad part is, is, cancel culture that got so bad is, it don't be stuff that you disagree with, it's just people be taking the argument too far. Too far. Too far, though, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you know? <laughs> yep. And you can't just be like, man, all right, I don't like that. You got to go all the way in on why you don't like it and why you feel this. And I'm just like, man, it's always going to be different people. It's always yeah. going to be people thinking different. Are we going to just cancel everybody that we don't agree with? Exactly. It's going to be you and your family. And you, can't <laughs> you, your mama, your son, your daddy. <laughs> And probably not all them. You can be like, you know what? I don't like my dad. I don't like your life. You can't. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, man. It's like everything ain't for everybody, man. Sometimes yeah. it's own stuff. Like, oh, you know what? I, I'm not really gonna like what I said. You know? Yeah. But yeah. you just gotta go try, you know? You got to, man. You really got to. Mm -hmm. You really got to. Um, being in a D, man, like, how, how long you been in a D? Oh, since I was born, man. I was born okay. in a D. So so let's talk about like the ups and downs of the D, man. Like how, how did you deal with struggling economy, you trying to get on, trying to be successful? You know what I'm saying? How did you deal with all that? Oh man, guy, Detroit's real different, man. Like uh sometimes I at the beginning I felt like I didn't fit in as much because you know, we got we got a lot of flashy dudes, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, y'all know about the buffs, you know, the car yes. glasses. Yes. Purple soap, pink soap. Oh man, it, 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 it's worse than that, man. We're talking <laughs> about everybody got a hellcat. So like, uh, I got that stuff, man. Okay, I got that okay. stuff. Would, when I get money, I don't want that stuff, man. <laughs> so it's like, you know, and it's like, I don't fit into that group. But I'm thinking like, well, you don't fit into the stereotype. Where do you fit in, though? You know what I'm saying? And in social media, you bump into other people. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just got to mm -hmm. find your, your groove, your, you know, your thing. Because you be thinking like, I, cause I, go, I went to auditions for things and then get it. You're like, you, you don't want to hail somebody. You be like, yo, I know I'm a better acting comedian. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But she'd be like, you know, it wasn't for you. You yeah. gotta, do, and then yeah. you gotta. The thing too, is, I'm learning is, you gotta build your own. Yeah. You gotta build your own. When somebody else calls the shots, you can't get mad at them. Mm -hmm. cause that's his vision, and you know, and with his call, with yeah. yours, that's your vision, your call. You know, nice. build nice. your team. And the secret is too, I'm letting everybody know, build your team. But sometimes keep everybody on payroll, man. Keep because mm -hmm. <laughs> because when you paying, people got to do what you say. <laughs> yeah, facts. That's, that's real. That's real talk. Yeah. Now, how do you deal with the pressure of wanting to, like, be competitive but knowing that you got to stay in your own lane? How do you deal with that? Man, you just got to learn at the end of the day, you compete against yourself. You can put markers on the people, like, I'm going to be better than him, but you got to be better than yourself first. Mm -hmm. You got to build yourself. You don't, we really don't, you never really know what the next person's battling what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? You 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 might think whatever, but you gotta say, all right, this is what I want. You gotta come out, you have to have a plan and you have to achieve those things, those goals. That's what I've learned that's always helped me to keep going and help me like to beat dollars, man. Like you just always have to just know know yourself and compete with these goals. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And if you're gonna compete, one of my cousins said the best, he said, this dude was trying to compete with me, blah blah where I said, bro and he said, I told him, he said Bro, I'm not in competition with you, but if I was, just know, I'm competing with Kobe Bryant. I'm not mm. uh, competing with Sean Elliott, dog. Mm. I'm competing with the goats. I'm mm. competing with. 
I don't mm. compete with my peers. You know mm. what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And, and I think that that's a good point, Dave, because mm. wherever you are right now, you got to be able to start leveling your mind up, not be right. competing with these lower people. If you were to be looking at competition, right. you got to go to the top. And you can say, well, I don't deserve to be there. They did, they established, they doing their thing. But mm. if you hope to be there someday, you got to start thinking like them. So what right. do they do? What's their behaviors? How often are they doing live videos, reels? Well, what, 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 what's they, what they strategy? Start checking some of that stuff out because if you want to be on that level, you got to do what they doing. Yep, you got to look, I look at like, like, a lot of times I know people compare me to other comedians, but I tell you, I'm looking at Will Smith's page on Instagram. I'm looking at Steve Harvey, Steve Harvey be working. And then like, you wouldn't think it, but go look at his Instagram, his TikTok every freaking second. This dude is on overload, bro. And it's like, some people say, well, that's too much content. Not for his fan base. Mm -hmm. That's what they want. He giving them what they want. That's you know. What they want. Did you hear that part about in the interview? Uh, my wife was telling me about it. That Steve had told his wife. He said he woke up on his birthday, and it was like sixty something. He was like, "I thought I would have been further along than where I am." And then she like, "Babe, go get in one of your cars, drive around town, and then you come back." And then he came back like, "Yeah, I guess I was tripping. I do got some nice stuff." But just think. You we know always say, think that, though. Because, you know, as a man, we think as uh, we think conquered. I know a lot of girls, yeah. you might think, people might think different. I know women say manifest, and they do so-and-so. But us men, like women think as in create, manifest, uh, you know, what is it, these adjectives and all this stuff, vision board mm -hmm. stuff. Men think, as me, we think, I got to shed blood. Mm. <laughs> I gotta shed blood. I got a blood, sweat, and tears mm. every day. Mm -hmm. And you be thinking like, man, I ain't did enough. I'm still in the apartment. But mm -hmm. you probably a luxury apartment in a good ass area, man. You know what I'm saying? You can buy a house, but put that on your goal list. And then you gotta ask yourself, what can I do to plant the seed for the mall? It's always more to go. It's always gonna be a road to go until that casket drop. But you mm -hmm. gotta be thankful for what you have. Thank God for what you have now. And just plant the seeds for the future. You know, you always sometimes it's okay to look back a little bit and just appreciate. Just you know, just mm -hmm. absorb what's going on around you. Like, damn, I did do my thing, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Facts. You know what I'm saying? Cause we 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 both, uh, you and I Dave have accomplished a lot from like both of our follower account, both of our audiences, and the way yeah. that they're engaging it and really commenting more, showing love, sales coming in, money coming in. Right. We're a lot further along, but I think that, you know, even somebody like Steve Harvey, he's have achieved a whole lot, but a lot of celebrities kind of get to that same point where they never really change their mindset about who they are. And it's almost like I'm, I'm still on that hamster wheel, grinding, 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 trying to make another dollar. Well, that brother got a whole lot of dollars at this point, and I'm not saying that he should stop, but I think that when you don't smell the roses, you, yeah. you keep thinking that you got to grind, 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 where it has to be some type a level that you get to where you finally just relax, like, okay, I, I done did it. Like, I'm good now. Yeah, that, that, goes when you, that goes from competing yourself to fighting yourself. You know what mm. I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with friendly competition with others and yourself, especially, but when you're fighting, you're holding yourself back, you're holding others back, and you're being a cancerous, now that's the problem. But you got to just, like I said, appreciate each other. Look, me and my friends, we push each other like crazy. And they have, like I said, that support system. Push your friends, help your friends, man, yes. along. Because you never, it's always, like, it's, it's a ladder of success, man. I push you, you push me. I push you, you push me. If you're ahead of me, you're just ahead of me. You pull me up, I pull you up. It's yeah. always us pulling up each other over the next person, and we're going to greatness. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how you got to look at it. And that's how it got to be. Especially, you know, and if you don't have the right people around you, even doing what you're doing now, Dave, in comedy, like, you would have gave up a long time ago if you had some negative people in your ear saying, bro, stop, man, chill, man. Don't even know right? what ain't worth it. Just you stop, right. man, work a job, bro. Yeah, man, that's how a lot of me, man. Go back to school, man, get so-and-so. <laughs> like, that's not, you got to know, that's not for me. This is mine. You got to have your vision, and you got to be, and you got to be all in, too, man. That's a lot of people's problem. Like, you know, that good, it's, it's a sweet basketball player, it might have been sweeter than Jordan, man, but he went left somewhere, you know. Yeah. It, it's a rapper that was sweeter than Jay-Z, went left somewhere. You know, comedian, funny than Kevin Hart, went left somewhere. But you know what? Those people stayed the course, man. 
you know. And and it's really making that decision, Dave. Like yeah. I think that when you make that decision internally, not when you say it out of your mind, but when you say it inside, like, hey man, I ain't, I ain't playing no more, man. I gotta stop. Yeah. Like if there if there's something that kind of like rise up inside of you, you'd be like, it's like this beast mode to turn on. Like oh, I gotta yeah. go. And it's like, I don't care who try to stand in my way, what they got to say, I got to keep going. But yep. when you start to like, well, I don't know, man, maybe I could fail. You ain't ready yet. And that's okay to yep. say that. That's okay yep. to say that. But like I tell people, when you make that decision, something turns on. That you you can't even turn it off if you wanted to. Yep. And that's that's like, how it go. You be just, you know you just a beast. Because, you... Like, Dave, at this point, bro, like, mm -hmm. tell me if I'm lying. Tell me if I'm lying. It's not gonna let you're not gonna let a whole week go by, and it, this ain't even you consciously thinking about it. Mm -hmm. A week ain't gonna go by without you doing a reel. That's a real, yep, yeah, you're right, you're right. You're gonna make time. Sometimes people are like, I don't have the time. No, you gotta make time, man. Sometimes you're gonna have you're gonna have 30 minutes of free time, you know what I'm saying? Boom, yeah. and then have some. I always, too, I always have something in my drafts just in case you yep. type of time, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yep, when you got bursts of creativity, that's another thing, too. Sometimes people like try to force it. Just sometimes when you have bursts of creativity, man, just let it loose, man. Mm. Whatever it is, you just gotta write something down. Mm. You gotta just you wanna ask something out on TikTok, so and so. Just let it flow, man, because you're gonna have you're gonna do like 10 TikToks, man. Your biggest my biggest problem sometimes ain't even doing the TikTok. It's changing clothes mm. you know, to make sure wow. it, you know, it ain't looking weird. Like, yeah. the same outfit every day. I just come the same day, though. Right, you know right, right. Man, I, I seen a girl on TikTok, man. She must have had the same shirt on for, like, 30 or 40 videos. But she kept getting all this love. So I was like, you know what? I'm not about to be that picky about the shirts no more. Because if people don't care, and y'all obviously showing all these people love with the same shirt, the mm -hmm. same sweater, the same hat day, same hairstyle. Let so me tell y'all a secret. Let me tell you a secret. I learned this from Kevin Gates. Somebody received okay. Kevin Gates on this. If you do like a lot of content, right, get you a black t-shirt and some black pants, maybe a black sweater and some, uh, you know, black and, and, and rock out, bro. Rock out. It just, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's all black. They're not paying attention to your clothes. Mm -hmm. They pay attention to you and just, mm -hmm. they can't tell, bro. Mm -hmm. They can't tell. But you know, it's crazy because, uh, I heard it was somebody like Mark Zuckerberg or something like that said it, mm -hmm. that he only rocked a certain type of shirt mm -hmm. every single day consistently because he doesn't want to have to use energy and mental power trying to decide what to wear. Because yep. you think about it, bro, it take, it take a lot out of you. It do. So if I, if I know that these is the video outfits, then I'm only choosing these boys. No, yep. the, the blue and all you. No, I don't rock you. Oh, you ain't black. Don't even talk to me, bro. Like I'm only rocking these. I think that that's a good strategy. That's how you gotta be because if some people are like, well, I like to be fashion. Well, you gonna have photo shoots. You gonna have when you out and about taking pictures. But like mm -hmm. for that time, I'm telling you, keep it simple. For the the, the reels and the TikToks, yeah. your mask stuff. Yeah. Hey, you know what I'm saying? And you taking the focus off of your outfit and just yeah. on your video, the comedy. Like I said, it's gonna be times for that, but mm -hmm. you gotta just stay the course. That's a little free game for y'all. No, that, that's a good game. I'm taking notes, bro. Uh, <laughs> let, uh, before we get out of here, bro, talk to them creatives and influencers just trying to get to the next level, whether they're a comedian or whatever. Like, talk to them, talk to them, and kind of encourage them to stop tripping and stop tripping about what other people are saying. Like, be more confident in who they are. Like, talk to them. Man, always just be yourself, man. Like, I know somebody always said, one of my friends told me one time, he said, uh, I always said, oh, can you hear me? I'm sorry. Sorry, messed up. Yeah. No, one can. of my friends said, be able to read the room. I said, that's the worst advice anybody's ever given me. Mm. Control the room. Mm. Change the room. Be the change. You know, when everybody goes right, go left. Be yourself. Because mm. it's only one you, and it's a lot of people who love you. And it's a lot of, some people... Are, are, are like you, your little social kinks and whatever weird stuff you do. You know what I'm saying? You ate paper towel. It's a lot of other people who eat paper towel. Make sure you eat paper towel. You eat paper towel. Bro, you know what I'm bro, it's paper towel, bro. All the weird stuff you do, you know, like, I, you know, like sometimes, you know, like, I ain't gonna lie, like sometimes I, I eat all my food and like, you know how like it needs a warm spot? 
And when you whip, sometimes I'll be holding that bad boy. I might make one of them page, you know? I just like warm spots. Put my hand up <laughs> like I'm absorbing something. <laughs> <laughs> absorbing the power, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> He's crazy, bro, man. I, I just forgot my questions, man. Yeah, but yeah, just 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 stay true to self, man, and just and like uh, and put other people on too, man. Like sometimes mm -hmm. it's not about money. It, sometimes don't be focused on money. Make sure your business is right. Yeah. But focus on just success, man. Money, yeah. money will chase you, man. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. What what books you reading, Dad? What books I'm reading? Uh I've been reading a lot of books, uh, but I have read. Uh, was it Seven Habits of Successful People? Okay. Uh, in college, the uh, guy was actually my professor, and he wrote a book, uh, Think and Grow with Rich, uh, Dennis Kimbrough. Okay. Uh, I need to read the autobiography of Malcolm X. That's what I need to read. I keep hearing yeah, about that. Yeah, I heard that's dope. Yeah. I heard that's dope. Yeah, yeah. what, what books do Alchemist you want to read? Keep hearing about Alchemist, too. The Alchemist is dope. That is actually on uh, YouTube. Um, so you can check that out. Yeah. Other than I, that, I did read YouTube. Pimp too by uh <laughs> by what is it by man uh Pimp by what is his name? I forget his name. Iceberg Damn. Iceberg Slim. Iceberg Slim. Yeah. That yeah. hey, that's deep. <laughs> yeah. You, you read that one? Yeah, I'm reading it right now. I'm okay. reading it. You know. I, I heard that boy deep, man. I, I'm I'm kind of scared to read it because I I don't, don't want to get no ideas about Pimp. Ooh. That's the thinking, man. You, you married, man. You happily married. Go ahead and throw that away, bro. Just go ahead. You don't be. I'm trying to tell you, bro. You don't need to be. That's for single men, bro. You don't need that. I'm like, but I keep hearing all these successful people like, hey, man, you got to read that book. I'm like, bro, like, what do you do on the low? Do you got some pimping agency? Man, look, I'm trying to tell you, dog. That's for single men. That's that's trying to learn these new age things, dating scenes, bro. But if you married, <laughs> just go ahead and throw that one out. <laughs> go, matter of fact, go ahead and buy you the book and burn it, bro. <laughs> just burn it, bro. Go ahead, go ahead and unfollow Kevin Samuel. <laughs> what is, what is, Wait, what is, is, is some of his principles built off of that? Pressure? No, I, it's just, it's just. You got to think, it, it's a dating scene, man. And the dating yeah. scene is the dark world, right? It's like you a Jedi, right? And mm. you hang with other death Jedi. This is the Sith world, bro. This, mm. <laughs> this is Sith, you know what I'm saying? This is dark, man. This is the dark side, bro. <laughs> this is the, you don't want no parts of this dark side. <laughs> All y'all men are working with Jeff Curry, Steph Curry's father announced his divorce, and somebody wrote him a letter saying, bro, you are 60 years old. This world ain't for you, bro. <laughs> this is not they say like, this is not the 80s, bro. This is not they say you we don't know if your wife cheated on you or you cheated on your wife, but they said you need to fix it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want no parts of the state to see. You want no Is it crazy out there, bro? Bro, it's it's wild out here, bro. It's the wild, wild west, bro. Wow, so it's girl, probably even worse on social media. Huh? And probably even worse on social bro, media. As soon as you meet a girl, she wants some money, bro. <laughs> she wants some money. <laughs> wow, bro. That's crazy. Yep. That's crazy. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm really happy, man, that I don't have to be a part of that world no more, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I remember them days, man, and then being on social media, it's even mm -hmm. harder because it's like, you didn't want to be the sleaze bucket all in anybody DMs trying to holler at it, but it's like, how else do I find you? Hey, hey that's what it do. First, hey, I always tell people, shooters gonna shoot, man. <laughs> shooters gonna shoot. Girls be like, Dave was in my DMs. Yup, that was me. That was me. What else you want? <laughs> Bro, ha have you ever been at a show and you was in a girl DM in the crowd? Man, man, what was that? I know some weird stuff. Not that, but, uh, you know, I'll be, I'll be getting a lot of girls who want to come to my show. And you be like, no, nah, that's not a date. That's not a that's not a date. <laughs> you know? And they want to go like, well, a lot of times I don't care who it is. The the best shows are in the hood, man. That's mm -hmm. why people don't think tell you like a lot of the, the best shows in the hood. And I'm telling girls like, yo, like, you gonna sit next to security. If you go, <laughs> I'm okay with that. You be thinking like, 
Nah, bro. I don't want to have to call our parents like, yo, you don't even make me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> because it be, sometimes, like, the rule is don't go first to come in. Sometimes I want to go first. I don't care about getting booed. I don't mm-hmm. care about no, nobody being in there. Yeah. I want to be in and out, man. Wow. Okay. okay. But but that but that's some of the um, best experience you've had, though, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Now, when when people like, how do you deal with what reactions of crowds? Like, because I always wondered, how's a comedian feeling when, like, do you kind of sense it when, like, you're really vibing with everybody and you're like, mm-hmm. man, I, I can literally say whatever I want, y'all about to laugh, or is uh, it like you kind of like pulling and you know you got certain jokes, you're like, man, let me put them boys down. This is what ain't gonna work. Yeah, sometimes you gotta you gotta have that that joke that's a heat seeker. Okay, every, okay. Every night, like, I hate okay. telling the same jokes all the time. Like, okay. I like to switch it up. But, like, you got to have that joke that's a heat seeker, and you got to know how to control the crowd. Because, like, me, I use my body in my jokes. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I'll be like, oh, they ain't giving it up yet. All right. And then, like, you know, like, it's been a couple times where I'm throwing it up, you know, like, just, you know, just doing a little extra, mm-hmm. extra bob with the microphone. But sometimes you got to think, too, and this happens to me, like, a lot. You 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 in the moment. You don't really see the audience. You know what I'm saying? You're not really hearing the laugh. You busy trying to tell the joke. So you can't you can't talk and listen at the same time. Gotcha. Okay. okay. So it's like, and I look back, I'm like, I'm like oh, they were laughing. I was, like, I was like, I couldn't hear no laughs, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so like, I mean, yeah, as yeah. a comedian, is it best not to even try to go off of that response because you kind of get out, out of your zone? To me, it's just uh, like, I like I write my jokes down so I memorize it, and then like okay. when, once I like memorize it and like I practice, I practice, I practice, and I like I have to just memorize it and just get a flow. As long mm-hmm. as I get a flow, and you, I gotta stay in my flow. Like I know if I, I if I can I can look at you if I'm on stage and not see you. Mm-hmm. If I see you, I'm not in the flow. But when mm-hmm. I once I know I'm not, I don't see a crowd, and it might jam packed. I don't see a crowd. And I'm just telling my jokes. I might hear a little giggle, giggle here. But, you know what I'm saying? I, I know I'm in the zone, man. I'm mm-hmm. in the zone. So when mm-hmm. you're in the zone, whatever you do, you can't be stopped, man. Mm-hmm. It's, just, it's just something about it just brings out the best of everybody. It's like God's in the room. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, is that like the equivalent to like, like you said, like Nas and Jay on stage, they doing their thing and they feel that vibe or Jordan on the court. It's, it's like court LeBron. Court. He's like to go to the hub. Like he just like... <laughs> It's like, yeah. bar, bro. it's like, I'm telling you, when you on the zone, can't nobody boo, because you're like, shut up. And then you go back to the you like, you just in the zone, bro. Like, you, be looking, you be looking back at yourself, and you record yourself. Uh-huh. Like, whatever you do, too, record yourself when you yeah. when you work it. You know, just yeah. to know your mannerism. Yeah. You be like, who is that person, dog? Mm. Like, I'm not that confident. Like, mm. That's dope. You're you doing what you love. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. And I guess the more you see that on video, you start to believe it even more. Be yeah. like, oh shoot, I am that dope. Yep, you like, I'm that guy, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. All right, Dave. So before we get out of here, please tell them anything you got coming up, how they can find you and get in contact with you. Okay. Uh late uh late nights with Dave Jizzle coming uh world premiere April first. Um you can follow my Instagram, Dave Jizzle, D-A-V-E-J-I-Z-Z-O-E. It's attached to here. Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to be posting my stuff on, on my page. Uh, more shows coming soon. Um, I'm in a film. We've been filming for the longest. Uh, Cheddar Boy is coming out soon. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, cartoon. I'm, I always forget it, but I'm not forgetting it today. Uh, my show's Madness. I play a, car, a kid named Knight who's is he the villain or is he not? Let me know what y'all think. <laughs> <laughs> he's a he's a very ambitious kid. I play him on My Show's Madness. Uh, we got we're four episodes deep. More to come. I think we're four episodes deep. I'm not for sure. Um, but yeah, that that's pretty much it. Talk show, cartoon, you know, more content coming soon. You can always catch me on Reels. You know. That's what's up. Yeah. Well, bro, I appreciate you for being on, man. We're going to um, post this to my page as well as going to be an Insta uh, YouTube video connected to it. And I'm going to okay. send you the link to be able to share with your audience, man. Because I think well, that it'd be good for them to be able to see you behind the scenes, bro. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure, because you're going to blow up, man, and get a uh, talk show on, uh, you know, uh, uh, what is it, Fox? You're going to replace Wendy Williams and Nick Cannon and all that, man. Let's go, bro. <laughs>
Let's go, and then I'm gonna have you on again. Like, yeah, hey, how you been feeling like since that, you've been bro. popping all these bottles lately, bro? <laughs> well, let me give me a job. Let me produce it in the back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on here. <laughs> now you know I got you, man. We are gonna stay connected for sure, bro. Definitely, man. I got your back, man. No doubt. All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. Have a good one. All right, you got.